we are now going to start the process of nitrogen metabolism nitrogen is uh, one of the most important constituents of uh, proteins then uh, dna rna that is nucleic acids atp molecules and it is absorbed only by plants in certain usable forms so that is why this uh, metabolism of nitrogen becomes very essential or important thing we will discuss this under various steps the first that we are talking about is nitrogen cycle let us first understand how this movement of nitrogen takes place between the living and the non living uh, world and then we will take up individual uh, steps in detail we know that the source of nitrogen is atmosphere so we write it as atmospheric nitrogen this is molecular nitrogen and molecular nitrogen cannot be used in this form it has to be converted into some usable forms so these usable forms are three one we write as ammonia actually it is ammonium ion which then gets converted into nitrites and then nitrates these three are the usable forms so this represents the usable forms of nitrogen and this is the source these three ammonium ion can be taken by the plants or absorbed by the plants nitrites can be absorbed and nitrates can also be absorbed by the plants now how is this atmospheric nitrogen converted into these usable forms one process is known as biological nitrogen fixation and as it includes the term bio that means it is helped by certain microbes the second is atmospheric fixation or let us first write this one this is industrial fixation and the third one is atmospheric fixation we will discuss all these three steps in detail the biological all the steps involved in this in industrial also and in atmospheric also so this arrow is representing atmospheric fixation this one is representing industrial and this arrow is representing biological by biological fixation this atmospheric nitrogen would get converted into ammonium ion first ammonia and then ammonium ion by industrial fixation it gets converted into urea first that dissociates to give ammonia by atmospheric fixation it is converted into oxides of nitrogen now these forms as we said are the usable forms so these forms are taken by plants absorbed by plants and from plants these would be taken by the animals in the form of food so when animals eat plants plants have converted that nitrogen into amino acids proteins and that those proteins have reached the animals now both plants and animals after their death and decay by decaying bacteria this process is helped again by certain microbes which are kept under the category of decaying bacteria they convert the proteins or whichever biomolecule has nitrogen again into this usable form and this process is known as ammonification so by the process of ammonification all that dead material is converted into again ammonia one more thing which we can add here is animals 
excrete urea urea the process is excretion and this urea is also converted into ammonia so again it is ammonification so after death and decomposition of plants and animals again it would come into that nitrogen would come into usable form in this much part of the cycle what we have talked about is taking in of nitrogen how is this nitrogen given back because we are talking of nitrogen cycle and cycle means it has to move continuously between living and non-living so there are certain bacteria which convert every form of nitrogen into free molecular nitrogen the process is known as denitrification and it is done by denitrifying bacteria denitrifying bacteria like pseudomonas so they would convert all fixed forms of nitrogen it can be from any fixed form it can be from protein it can be from ammonia or urea or anywhere into free atmospheric nitrogen so this is the only step by which all the nitrogen is going to go back into the atmosphere now let us take these fixations in a uh, short we will be talking about atmospheric in detail industrial in detail and biological fixation in more detail because this is a very uh, lengthy process so let us take these fixations step by step first atmospheric fixation as the name tells us atmospheric fixation that means it is taking place in the atmosphere and it takes place at the upper level where molecular nitrogen reacts with molecular oxygen in presence of uv rays and lightning so these are the conditions where nitrogen molecular nitrogen and oxygen can combine to form oxides of nitrogen then these oxides they combine with water to form nitrite and nitrate these nitrite and nitrate can further react with water to form nitrous acid or nitric acid so this can change into HNO2 that is nitrous acid and this can change into HNO3 with the help of its reaction with water and then it may come down in the form of acid rains so these two are going to come as acid rains these nitrites and nitrates can also react with certain other elements like calcium or magnesium and then they can form salts also so this is how the molecular nitrogen is converted into usable forms we said nitrites and nitrates are the usable form and here they are coming in the form of the same compounds that is nitrite and nitrate this is how nitrogen molecular nitrogen gets converted into usable form in the atmosphere conditions which are required presence of uv and lightning the second is industrial fixation industrial fixation and as the name tells us industrial fixation is it is taking place in a factory or in an industry so there are certain reactions which are performed hydrogen and nitrogen are made to react and this would give us ammonia this ammonia is made to react with carbon dioxide and urea is obtained and this urea is supplied to the plant in the form of fertilizers when urea is added into the soil it dissociates to give ammonium ions so that means by industrial fixation again this molecular nitrogen 
though it is converted into urea but again it will come in the form of ammonium ion because this urea would dissociate to give ammonium ion and that can be absorbed by the plant. The third one is biological fixation and biological fixation is with the help of microbes like rhizobium and there are multiple steps which are involved. First, the rhizomere is going to infect the plant. Which plant? That is also important. We know it is a leguminous plant. Plus, we will take some more examples. After it has infected, then the nodule formation takes place. Then the reaction where the molecular nitrogen is converted into ammonia. Then further ammonia into usable form. So the third one that is biological fixation. We will discuss this in detail in the next segment but we just know that this is with the help of microbes like rhizobia and there are multiple steps involved in this process. So this is the one which we will be discussing in detail uh, from the next segment, from the next video. But what exactly we have understood is that atmosphere is the source of molecular nitrogen. It has to be converted into usable form so that plants can use it. Only plants can absorb nitrogen directly. And from plants, along with the food material which they synthesize, it is passed on to us, that is animals. After death and decay, Again, with the help of bacteria, it would be uh, converted into the same usable form. It will come into the soil. Plus, there has to be a process to return this into its source, that is atmosphere. And that is done by only one process, which is known as denitrification. Three ways in which nitrogen can be converted into usable form. One is atmospheric fixation, industrial fixation and biological. Atmospheric conditions required are UV rays and lightning. It gets converted into nitrites and nitrates which come to the soil. It can be in the form of acid rain or in the form of some salts and then used by the plant. Industrial is again with the help of certain reactions. It is converted into urea which is used as a fertilizer. And this fertilizer would again release ammonium ions which can be utilized by the plant. And the third is biological fixation, which we will be discussing from the next segment because it's a long process and there are multiple steps involved in it.